to show you. And I really need to turn this down. Okay, so we're going to do uh, crap. I forgot which one's better. Um, give me a second. But I was, anyway, I was having a hard time seeing some of the things I need to find for you guys because the graphics are a little bit older. So I decided to see if there, I was trying to look for a picture guide that could show me exactly where things are. And it led me to realizing that it's not that they're not, that the guide's not the issue. It's the fact that I can't see um, because of the graphics, which, you know, Okay, so we wanted to pick answer two. Uh, we're going to continue on easy. And we can both enjoy the difference in graphics. After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, east and west. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. been under the table all day. I hope you guys heard me in my other videos. That was sad. It already looks better. It looks a lot better. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Our main parachute. All right. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cab okay. Good. We've got high visibility. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you two, I'm going to give you a video that's long enough to be two videos for this first episode to make up for me restarting. Um, <clears throat> Depressurization complete. I'm going to try to do it without editing. Supply. We'll see. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. Oh they look so much better though. I'll be right back. Enjoy.
not pissed. Though. Why are you looking at me like that, Charlie? Jack, I've got some important news. The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, yeah. the virtuous yeah. mission. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Play. Virtuous mission? Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky, this isn't a training on. Yeah. Right. Sorry, uh, we're so both poker. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Enthusiast, well, so we're watching poker while about I About two years ago, this. a certain Soviet Something scientist requested a site in the West through one of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. He's head of the OKB754 Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top secret weapon research facilities, Come and on. the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov? Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned space flight in this? history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development to become the head of the newly established Design Bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a Design Bureau, that's quite a success story, so why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Afraid? Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. We used a mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted, and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet no. Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. Yes, the seven, they both have the same trait. And it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. Which means they split. The Cuban Missile Crisis. October 16, 1962, President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate-range ballistic missiles in Cuba. The President demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent I mean, further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. But the Soviets didn't back down, instead placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. U.S. and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out nuclear war. Frantic negotiations were conducted through the UN's Emergency Security Council and unofficial channels to end the hair-trigger standoff. Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba, and so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. You mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from would. Turkey? No. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete, and we were going to get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Excuse Sokolov. They wanted us to return Sokolov. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. What the hell was he working on? At the time, we had no idea. We were running out of time. It was either give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. President Kennedy Never gave in to Khrushchev's it. demand. The next day, I got Sokolov out of the hospital handing him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov you know kept on screaming, Save Sorry guys, until he disappeared. if you guys Why? want to catch a story, you guys can catch it on the last one. Do you copy? Oh, I knew there was a fast way. All right.
So let's see how much better it looks. It looks a hundred times better. Wow, I can actually see. Okay, so some of the things that I'm going to be doing in this game, and I plan on doing a lot. <clears throat> I'm going to be getting all of the... Um, all the animals. Um, so let me go this way real quick. Maybe I'll be able to see the birds this time. Nope. There is a medicine up here. So those are magpies. You can actually catch them, but I'm struggling. I may come up here with a quieter weapon in a little while. Alright, so we're also looking for a couple of other things. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is so much better. I can actually see. So up here, we have... We have mushrooms. Back here, we have a snake. It's going to be a reticulated python. Alright, um... Is that another one? There's also an anaconda hiding somewhere around here. And frogs. Um, those are harder to see. And false mangoes. I'm not seeing them at the moment. I don't want to spend too much time looking for them at the moment because that's not fun to watch. Um, I'm going to go try to kill me these magpies one more time. I'm a little slow. We'll go down here. We're going to climb up here real quick. Okay, it's going to make me drop. You guys saw this already. We're going to fast forward through this. God, they talked a lot. I forgot. All right. Sneak. Try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Okay, so we're going to go back up here real quick because there's actually our first secrets up here of the game. Um, you're going to come this way. And it's right there. All right, we got Prince Charming, which is our first... Uh, Keratin. There is a lot of them in the game. There's one, I think, in every single area, and I'm going to be getting those as well. Alright, so. That's not the anaconda, I don't think. I think that's another reticulated spider. Yeah, I think. Let me double check. Oh, no, we got it. So we got the Russian oyster mushrooms, reticulated by and I got an anaconda. So we got a couple more things to find. Um, but there's the, there's the actual anaconda, so that's cool. Um, let me see if I can find these frogs, because I feel like those are going to be some of the harder ones to find because they're so small. Um... Hey, there's a snake. Probably another python. You can catch them alive if you wish. Ha! <laughs> 
feel like this is where we're gonna find our frogs. Okay, but I'm not seeing them. Wait, we got something there. Right there. All right, we got one of the frogs. Cool. Let's go try to shoot these birds, huh? The magpies are hard. What is that? Oh, you can actually see the frog, the uh, caratag right there, see? Probably butchering that name, and that's fine. Alright, so a couple more things. I'm not exactly sure where they are. Um, it says that the false mangles are back here. Um, and now that we have we have this here, this is this wasn't here earlier. We got another snake now. Two snakes, actually. And there should be two sets of mushrooms, but I'm not seeing them. And I can always come back, um, I think. Try one more time. I had a guide up for all of this stuff and it has disappeared on me and I don't know where it went. So let's see. Oh, I see a bird. <coughs> oh, I put that one to sleep. So I'm actually going to catch me a live bird. Cool. I can't tell how long this video's been running. That's gonna be a pain in the butt. Seriously, did that what, did it escape? Okay, you saw me shoot it. That's crazy. What is that? Okay, give me a second. I'm still working on something here. 
This is going to be a pain in the butt. Um, <laughs> this is going to be a different type of... Um, this is... I wanted the one with pictures. Um, so if I wasn't going for everything, this game is a little bit smoother than this, and I do apologize that I'm kind of bogging it down by trying to get everything, but that's just kind of how I play. Um, so let's see what else is in this area. So we got the giant anaconda. We got uh, found hanging from the tree. Do we have a map? We do. Okay, so let's see if I can find another map. Um, okay. Let's go see if these are located correctly. Um, Did I get it? Oh, here we go. So we got a new set of mushrooms. Royce, Russian oyster and Siberian ink caps. Uh, still haven't got the false mangoes, which say they're over here somewhere. Part of the issue is I don't know what they look like. Found hanging on trees. Oh, right there. And you get free medicine from them, so that's always awesome. So the only thing we do not have at the moment is these magpies. Um, however, it's not telling me to worry about it, so we're not going to worry about it. All right. We're going to go ahead and go to the next area where we're going to run into some new bad guys, because why not, right? So one of the things before we move forward, I want to go ahead and explain. If you look into, if you're looking at the upper right corner of my screen, there is the word splitter and autograph. Um, you'll also see that it's got a texture and then a zero percent. Now, if I stop moving, it goes up to 15. So one of the things, if you are not aware of what this game has done, is they have added the ability to camouflage. So you get paints. <laughs> so you do get a mask, okay. Um, and the number tells you how effective it is in the area that you are standing in. So right now, leaf and woodland puts me at 50%. I'm 50% invisible. However, if I duck, I'm all the way down to 90. And uh, I got an achievement, I can totally see you. Achieve a camo camouflage index of 90%. So, now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and move forward a bit. Um, let me see. Be right back. Okay, so we've done 26 minutes. I need this thing to be visible so that I can see the clock. Okay. All right. So, 
We are in the second area of this, uh, which is the Dramuchi Swampland. So the good news, I can catch a magpie here, maybe. There's also frogs. Thing that I can see them with. I can hear the frogs. Okay, so we need to be careful here because there are gators. I mean, there are legitimate gators sitting here in this water. Um. We don't want to bite, get into a fight with them because they can hurt us. Something's moving, I just can't see what it is. Well, there's a frog. Oh, I see it. Got it. All right. Capture any animal alive. Can I keep it? I just got another trophy, guys. So there's our magpie. All right. We got the magpie. Um, Okay, so I'm going to do something stupid here. I'm going to do something very stupid. So you cannot capture these with the sleeping darts, which makes sense. Okay, so what you're going to do, is you're going to move towards them really slowly. If you get too close to them, they will wake up. I'm in trouble. It has to die or I'm going to die. Okay. Okay, so we got we got him. Yay. Oh boy. Okay. So be very careful because like this is just a bad area. Um and we don't have the means to shoot these things and just kill them yet. Um, there's another one right there. Hiding in the grass. Um. Ah! 
Like I said, they hurt. There's supposed to be bug juice somewhere over here, but I don't see it. Um, there it is. saw a way to maybe take these guys out. Hopefully I don't take myself out in the process. to do that. I don't think that's what he said. No, it had subtitles. That's what he said. Okay, that's that's pretty aggressive. Yeah. Alright, so let me show you how to take out these guys correctly, because I did it wrong. Um I see the bug juice now that I'm standing here, by the way. So you're gonna get down. You don't wanna slash. If you stab them in the face, it says it's an instant kill, but I'm not seeing an instant kill. I think it's wrong. Now I'm in a position where this thing can eat me. Got the bug. All right. So what else? Um, so we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna read this to you. So it says, put it to sleep, get near it, um, and crouch. Go in first person view and equip. Push down hard on the square button, and the snake will do a stab with a knife. Rather than a slash. If the stab hits the Gabriel's head, it kills it instantly. Was I not stabbing it? I did it because there should be grenades over here somewhere. I'm not seeing the grenades. Mm. A lot of stuff hidden there, and I don't know how to find it all. Okay, so let's see what else we got. Aye, aye, aye. 
Um, so, what I shot down over there was a hornet's nest. Um, they will attack you if you're close enough. If they start attacking you for whatever reason, don't be afraid. Or go ahead and pull out your... Pull out your... Wait, there's a bit. Pull out your... I mean, it's very hard to see the objects in the grass, which is kind of cool. Um, but anyway, the hornets attack you. Go ahead and... Pull out your cigar and they will leave you alone immediately. So we're going to grab the bullets. Every time you shoot down a nest, you get a free ointment, okay? All right. Um, yeah, I saw the magpie in the tree. That would have been nice earlier. Okay, so now we're going to try to get over here without dying. Be a suppressor, okay. It should be head north, and we'll see. We'll see some fruit. Um, Like that. And this should be okay. So let's go ahead and eat something because we have too much food. Um, disgusting. Okay, so those are nasty. Good to know. And that should have been a. A Golova. Okay, so that's a good one. Cool, cool. Uh, what else we got here? Do -do 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 -do. There's a couple of pythons in here as well. Um, the only thing left here to find, I gotta find a. Um, give me a second to locate this. Uh, there's another. There's another one of those keratones here. I just gotta make sure I know where it is because. They are hidden very well. Um, and we are going for everything. So let's see what we got. Um, I know we're close. So we got the first one. In the north of the section, pass a swamp on the hill to your right. Okay. Ah, there it is. All right, we can move forward now. Right, as we move forward, let me go to pull my guide up. I think we're about to cut this video. I think we've done plenty. Um, we may do this next screen a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and cut it. Some of these videos are going to be longer than normal. Um, So just bear with it. If you guys enjoy it, awesome. If you don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. We can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. 
The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by mm -hmm. selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The Uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the Face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Okay, so I think this is a pretty good place to stop. Um, so until next time, adios, amigos.